And I'm about to view a few Muhammad Ali letters that he signed in 1971. There are no more of them. They are wanted. And these collectors pay insane money. How's it going? Plenty nice to meet you. What are these letters about? They're more philosophical than anything else because he wasn't the average punch drunk fighter. He was the greatest. Yes, absolutely. And he had no problem telling everybody that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a photo of Muhammad Ali with five philosophical statements on there. I got these in Zurich while Ali was still alive. I want $15,000 for it, and the least I'll take is 13. What is the soul? The soul is life. It never touches death. Muhammad Ali, peace, 1971. Damn, it's cool. I mean, because you always see, like, the boxing glove or something like that. Yeah. You don't see philosophy by I Muhammad know. Ali that often. And besides, you never see it from other fighters. Yeah, I mean, he was just a really... He wasn't your standard mold of a fighter, you know? No. He, uh... He was different. You know, he converted to Islam, right. you know, he refused to go to Vietnam. And he was just like a really, really smart fighter. He would stand on that rope and block more punches than they hit him with. Well, before the fight, he'd talk so much trash, you'd get the other guys all wound up. And so they weren't thinking right and didn't fight right. Absolutely. He was a smart person. And uh, the Jurgen Blinn, there was another fight where he just knocked him out halfway through the fight, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I love that the whole thing, he, he was writing like philosophy in, yeah. in a hotel in Zurich. So where'd you get this thing? I got it at an auction, and now that he's gone, it's worth much more money than I paid for it, and I want to take a trip to Israel, so I'm, I'm going to sell it now. Okay. How much you want for it? About 15. Would you take 10? No. <laughs> At one time, he was probably the most noted person in the world. Dan, this is like holy grail stuff as far as Muhammad Ali goes. So I called in Dan to get his opinion. All right, so what's this thing worth? I'll tell you, first and foremost, the key to this before we talk about value is that these passages that he wrote in Switzerland it's pretty incredible because, I mean, here you got a guy that was training for his fight, and he's in the moment in his hotel, and then wrote these things that came directly from his heart. So they're really personal. He was immersed in just being in Zurich. It was a nice journey for him out there in that neck of the woods. OK, so what do you think it's worth? You know, I think value-wise, each signature alone without the passages could be, you know, worth 1500 to 2000 alone they are vintage you can read every single letter but not only that now you have five stories directly from muhammad ali and it's also authenticated so they're just a real premier piece you know lenny i definitely think you can get thirteen thousand for it yeah but i'm gonna ask 15 because he's no longer here can no longer sign anything but that's why it's worth that much well i'll tell you what i'll let you duke it out and i'll see you in a little bit what do you think? I think I'll give you 10 grand for it. You have to come up with more. What's your best price? My best price right now would be about 13. I dropped it a couple of thousand. Let me give you 12. See, because the only way I'm going to make money on this thing is if I take the whole thing apart and I sell all the, the, the three letters separately and... Well, what do you say we try to get together at 12.5? Why don't we try to get together at 12? I would like it better at 12.5. <laughs> <laughs> on such a long trip, I want to fly first class. OK. You're going to lose this thing for 500 bucks? I mean, are you going to walk away for 500 bucks? Yes, because the longer he's dead, the more it's worth. <sighs> All right, it's a deal, 12.5. OK. That's a nice trip. A really nice hotel. Yes. First class tickets. Absolutely. <laughs> And to think that you're going to pay for it. Let me go get a checkbook. <laughs> so I'm happy with the deal. I'm making a profit on it. I bought it for much less. And now I'll have a nice trip to Israel. And at his expense.
Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. It's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.